Just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Washington will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he's stopped before he even gets going. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball in the 23. And they get nice yardage on that run. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. Tackle at the 38-yard line. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. From their own 38-yard line. First down. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. That's a deep run on the play. That brings up second and nine. Scrambling around. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. They'll line it up again on third down. Throws a bullet over the middle. And he tackles him hard at the 50. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. Hands it off. Gets out to around the 38. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. He unloads it. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's gonna get his hands on it and make a catch. From the 16-yard line, first down. Brought down at the 8-yard line. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. An 11 play, 75 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score 7 0. Iowa kicked this one off. Excellent kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Quick throw out to the receiver. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 49. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From their own 49-yard line, second down. He fights forward to around midfield. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. To the 20, to the 10. Tackled inside the five-yard line. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past a first down marker, but picking up some major yards on the play. Second down. Now he's flushed and they got it. And this play is number eight on the drive. Set. Move Cut. Here they come. Finds a man. Touchdown. That was a well drawn play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. An eight-play, 75-yard drive. And the result, seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. We get a tie game at 7-7. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Good outside run there. They're about four yards away here on second down. Second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Catches it, and that's all. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. That makes it third and three. Thank you. 
We've played one quarter. We're even at seven in this one. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Looks left, finding his tailback, and he's taken down at the 40. That'll be a gain of five. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made at the 50-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Sit out left to the running back. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. Finds his man. First down. And he's tackled at about the 33-yard line. That makes it first and ten. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. And he just gets rid of it. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. catch but he didn't get the first down yeah right now the way this defense is swarming there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down Washington is looking to go up by three the kick is away it's long enough and he got it The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. rid of this one second and ten ball on the 21 fires out quickly to the tailback he's taken down at the 21 yard line six-yard line.
from their own 36 yard line. It's first down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Makes it out to about the 41 yard line. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. With the pass incomplete. These guys just don't seem to be on the same page, and they're going to have to be if they expect to win this game. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 26-yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games, and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. Washington is up a field goal. And he's tackled right away. They come out in a five-wide set. He's at midfield. Tackle right around the 50. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. That makes it first and ten. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. This is smart, efficient play calling. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. From the 45-yard line, it's second down. He's got his man across the middle. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. They tried to fool him by running the same play again. Well, fooled no one there, Brad. Watch the slant. Watch 17. Watch 17. And he's immediately tackled. Hit out of bounds at the 13 yard line. That's a team of ten. First down. From the 13 yard line. First down. He fights forward to about the 10. The back gets three on the carry. This is the ninth play of this drive. The Huskies call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Washington has a three-point lead. Touchdown, Washington! Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. Converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 29. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? And they push him out at the 31. From their own 31-yard line. 
It's second down. He makes it to the 32-yard line. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. That brings us fourth and seven. Booming kick. <laughs> Tackle at the 37. The Huskies are just cruising through this first half, Kirby. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. And down he goes to the 38-yard line. Now he's scrambling. He's at the 30. Slides down. Gets it out quickly. He's knocked out of bounds at the 12-yard line. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. Kicks up, and it is good. With only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime, I would expect they'll just quick kick this one. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. Washington's got a 13-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese, these ball hawks on defense. They need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense. So so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. All right, Reese, David, thanks guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. They're ready to begin another drive. Out of bounds at the 26-yard line. That's good for a Watch two, watch two. That would make a second and four. And they make the stop at the 22. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 22 yard line. Down around the 34 yard line. First down. Set. 
Nice grab on the play. And he hits him hard at the 49-yard line. Quick pass, and now the ball is loose. The play isn't over until the whistle blows, and it was that scrappy defense who was able to come away with the ball after the tight end lost it. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. After review the play, the rule in the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. They bring the quarterback down. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Set, 10, 19. Set. Got a man, watch out here. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. Steps out of bounds around the 37 yard line. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball in the 42. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. The receiver needed to get a step or two further into his route to have any chance of snagging that pass. Screen pass. He's got his half back. Tackle made at about the 31. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. They're crowding the line. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Makes it out to about the 19. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. It's the tailback. He gets out to about the 11-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Little handoff. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. One yard loss for the halfback. From the 12 yard line, second down. They come out on an empty backfield. There's a strike complete, he's down. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. Yeah. 
He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. Washington's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing has just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Fires quickly to the tight end. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line. And a great pass play that time. And here we see just how much this defense respects the running game. They got sucked in here on the play action and got beat on the pass. Good play call. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. At about the 37 yard line. That makes it second and two. Double tight, double tight. Pull it down, pull it down. Watch it, watch it. Run, run, run. And they get nice yardage on that run. We've got a first and ten, all on the 33. Pulls it in and is immediately pushed out. First and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. He fights forward to about the 20. Taken down at the 19. Gain of one on the play. Third down. It's third and eight. Ball on the 19. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. They'll get him for a loss. So with one quarter remaining, the Huskies lead 27-7. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Sacked, and they'll turn it over. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play, but, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at the 45-yard line. 
That's a deep ten. First down. Way to go, deep. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 45-yard line. Second down. Makes it to the 48 yard line. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Caught and he's hit immediately. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 30. Throws quickly back to the tight end. They'll bring him down at the 35. That makes it third and three. Just under three to go in regulation. He wants it all going long. That tackle could have saved a very big play. Hey, I know there's not much time left in this game, and they're down big, but you never know. We've seen crazier things in college football. Maybe they get this ball into the end zone and recover an onside kick, and who knows? Maybe they can come back and win this thing. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide-open receiver, and he just misfires. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. goes at about the 17 yard line. Number 10 makes the second at the 17 yard line. That will bring up third and inches. Go down, go down. Good tackle there in space. Swings it out left to the halfback. And they make the stop around the six-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he rifles it in there for the touchdown. catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 72-yard drive. And it results in a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. He's taken down at the 42. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Just under two to go in the game. He fights forward to about the 40. The running back gets two on the carry. It's second and eight. Ball on the 40-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. Iowa's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Three, three, three. 
Here's the halfback on the screen. Down at the 32. A three-yard gain on the old screen pass. They're going to try a long field goal here. It's up. Looks long enough. And he nails the long field goal. for the kickoff. Excellent kick. Tackle at the 26. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. Not a whole lot of time left in this game, Brad. They've got to score down two possessions, and they need to score as fast as they can and then recover an onside kick and hope to be able to have a shot to tie this game. He's going to go for the home run. Very good tackle in space. Deep pass to the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. impossible pass to defend and it goes for six yep the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time they'll go for two in this situation everybody bunched up tight defensively they don't get it fires to the end zone picked off a short two-play, 73-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. But these guys got to be coming over the sidelines after the touchdown. After the touchdown, say, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. They'll bring him down at the 39. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. The quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. Second down and 12. Ball on the 42-yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. That makes it third and 11. And the ball game's over, and our final score of this one, 30-20, Washington. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.